Hang on tight, can do. Switch! Hell! Don't worry, can do. I'll save you. Just haul me in. I'm doing my best. What about me? Uh, uh. Uh. Well, well, it's about time. Nice work, Lara Squinch. If I weren't so little, I could have done it all by myself. Well, you are little. Now we'd better get out of the wind before we all blow away. Now, what was that? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy, but I'm gonna clear this tree away all by myself. The wind must have blown away his brains. Squinch, you're a widget, you aren't He-Man. Yeah, well, uh, uh, if I were as big as He-Man, I'd be a hero too. <laughs> <laughs> well, until that happens, we better send for the real thing. Adam, look! The widget signal flare! Uh, I guess we won't be going to the palace after all. It looks like our little friends need help. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Come on, Arco, let's go. Hi, Squinch. We came to help you take care of this fallen tree. Great. Arco! He-Man! Oh, are we glad to see you! Yeah, well, until that tree gets moved, we won't be able to get out our gate. Well, I'll see what I can do. Be careful, Squinch. I'll need some room. Yay, he's doing it. <laughs> that he man's really something. He sure is. Huh. Well, uh, if I were as big as He-Man, I could do that, too. Gee, Squinch. I don't even think my magic can help you with that. Magic? Hey, I wonder... I got it! Maybe Orko's magic couldn't make me big. But I know someone whose magic could. And what have we here? I caught him sneaking around outside. I I came to to ask if I uh, give uh, if, uh, for a favor. <laughs> for one so little, he has a lot of courage. <sighs> oh, not much sense. Even I know better than to ask Skeletor for favors. Silence, you two. Now, what is it that you want? Uh, well, uh, uh, would you pl uh, would you please, uh, use your magic and make me, uh, big? <laughs> <laughs> and what's in it for me? Well, I, I, I can give you these. It's all I've got, but they're yours. So, not only do you trespass in my domain, but you insult me as well. Beastman, take him to the dungeons. Skeletor, wait! The widget could be of use to us. This is a present for He-Man. Perhaps you wouldn't mind giving it to him for me. Uh, you mean... You mean I don't have to go to the dungeon? 
<laughs> of course not. Skeletor was just making a joke. No. Only He-Man must open this. And I promise you, he'll like what's inside. Well, uh, if you promise, really promise. I don't know what lies you've heard about me, but I've always admired He-Man. And once you do this for me, I'll grant you your wish. Of course, if you prefer the dungeon... Oh, no, 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 I'm... I'm, uh, I'm on my way. <laughs> Remember, it's a surprise. So don't tell anyone who it's from. It's a deal. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be big. <laughs> and He-Man will be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I bet He-Man's really gonna be happy to get this. I'd better signal him right away. And then Evil Lynn will make me as big as he is. There's the signal. My plan worked, Skeletor. And He-Man will soon be mine. Well, Cringer, it looks like the widgets need He-Man again. Ooh, can it wait until morning? Afraid not, old pal. You never know what kind of trouble our little friends may have gotten themselves into. By the power of Grayskull! What's up, Squinch? Uh, well, uh, it was sort of a, a mistake. But, uh, as long as you're here, I've got something for you. What is it? Uh, well, uh, why don't you open it first? Yes, open it, He-Man! What's going on? I can't hear a word they're saying! It's magic. And it's not good magic, either. But Evil Lynn told me you'd like the surprise. Evil Lynn gave this to you? That's right, He-Man. The little fool fell right into my trap. I did you and Battle Cat. <laughs> and in 30 seconds, you will be ours. <laughs> I can't hear what you're saying, but I know it's not good. <laughs> He-Man, I'm getting sleepy. It's the magic. We've got to fight them off while we're still awake. What have I done? You're no match for me, He-Man. As long as I'm awake, I am. Skeletor, you shouldn't do that to a living tree. He-Man. I just can't stay awake. Battle Cat. Uh, uh. Hey, man. in making He-Man our prisoner. Keep your promise to make me big and I'll take on all of you, single-handed. Not a chance, little one. And now that your protector is gone, Eternia will soon be mine. <laughs> Oh, 
the sleep magic will be wearing off soon. Oh, where are we? In Snake Mountain as my prisoners. Beastman, activate the laser cage. Hold on, cat. Let me try. Quick, increase the power. Thanks to the blunder of your little friend, Squinch, you will remain our prisoners. While I pay King Randor a visit and relieve him of his crown. <sighs> We've got to get out and stop them. I wish you the best of luck, He-Man, because you're going to need it! Skeletor's got He-Man. Now, what's all this? Yeah, it was like we said. Skeletor and Evil Lynn put a spell on He-Man and Battle Cat. Oh, that made him fall asleep. And Skeletor took them away! And it's... it's all my fault. What? what? I... I wanted to be big so I could be a hero like He-Man. And Evil Lynn said she'd help me if I gave He-Man a magic box. Well, how could you do that, Squitch? All her magic is evil. She said he'd like it. Evil Lynn would say anything to get the best of He-Man. But I'm afraid you were too blinded by your own selfishness to see. Oh, Squinch, you made a mistake. But we still love you. I sure did. But if I were big, I could go rescue He-Man. Oh, what's so bad about being small? I'm going to rescue He-Man just the way I am. Then I am, too. Teela, you'd better go along to help these little giants while the guards and I get ready for a visit from Skeletor. Here it is, the Royal Palace of Eternia. Yes, Panthor, soon it will be mine. the secret entrance to Snake Mountain long ago. It should lead us directly to the dungeons and He-Man. Oh, no! Welcome, little one. My magic crystal told me to expect visitors. Did it also tell you that He-Man will soon be free? <laughs> he and his cat are behind that wall. Even if I weren't here, You'd never be able to free him! <laughs> it's no use, man at arms. They're too strong for us. What should I do with this one? You put me down! You heard what the lady said, Beast Man. Come on, Duncan, let's get him! Death! A blast from my freeze ray should keep you both out of my way! <laughs> Until I've crowned myself King of Eternia! That will never happen, Skeletor! Squidge is gonna rescue He-Man and then you'll be sorry! <laughs> this small one is amusing. But now it's time for me to take my rightful throne. Hey, Squinch! You wanted me to use my magic on you. Uh, uh actually, I, uh, I've kind of changed my mind. <sighs> Sorry, little one, but it's too late for that. Squinch, quick, get through that hole. Orko's right. It's too small for us to get through. But you'll fit, and then you can rescue He-Man. Not a chance, Squinch. You wanted to be big. Well, here's your wish. Oh, no. My one chance to save He-Man, and now I'm too big to do it. Orko, use your magic and make me small. Sure thing, Squinch. Oh, boy. 
you did it. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Hey, man. Great work, Squinch. Now, over there, the switch. Turn it off. Got it. Now you'll truly feel my wrath. Now we've got to help Tila and Orko. Hey, man. I'll simply open a space portal and join Skeletor at the Royal Palace. Stop her, Battle Cat. Come on, everyone. My magic will lead us right to the palace. It's time for you to bow before your true master. Never. Orko, where have you led us? To the Royal Palace, just like I said I would. Anyway, it was Evil Lynn's space portal, not mine. Well, at least it got us here. Now let's find Skeletor. Unnecessary, He-Man. <laughs> Because we've already found you! Get him, Pantor! Why, Panthor, how nice to see you! Now we're really cooking. No! I just know you'll want to be part of this flower, old boy. Because all we need is some water. the funniest looking loaf of instant bread ever seen. You'll pay for this, He-Man. So you keep telling me, Skeletor, but when are you going to learn that evil never really can win? Yeah, and it was all because I was little, too. Maybe I'm not the wrong size after all. That's right, Squinch. It's not how big your body is that counts, but how big you are inside. And by those standards, you're a real giant. What about me? <laughs> you're not a giant, Orko. <laughs> you're just a big clown. <laughs> In today's story, He-Man said what is important is what you're like inside. It's not really important whether you're big or small or tall or short or fat or skinny. In other words, what's important is being the best person you can be. You know something? I'll bet there are a lot of people out there right now who'd like to be just like you. <laughs> Good for you, Squinch. You said it.